All right, welcome back to another Omni Garage video. And today we have another tool here courtesy of Ryobi. So they've sent us this tool here. This is the second, I guess, cleaning tool that we've been able to check out. Well, Ryobi is sort of running a uh, cleaning push campaign at the moment. So yep. this is gonna fit right in, in with that campaign. And so, yep, this is a cordless outdoor surface cleaner. So we have just released a video on the um, 18 volt power scrubber. So yep. this is kind of like a power scrubber with an extended handle. And this is what you're gonna use to be cleaning outdoor patios, your decks, concrete areas, and things like that. Yeah, I'm excited to try this out. In particular, um, when I've had decks in the past, had to get the, uh, the scrubbing brush out, and especially if you're covering a large area, it gets pretty exhausting doing that. So I'm hoping that this would replace the need in order to manually scrub when using things like wet and forget hit the deck. So we'll unbox this, check it out, and bring you guys along the way. All right, so there's a little bit of setup required to attach this brush and things like that that you need to do. The first step would be, this This is a guard, and this guard here will, is, is where you're gonna attach your bristles to. So there's a motor bit attached into there, and that motor bit is gonna attach itself and clip into, into this, I guess, little cradle bit here. Snaps in place there. Snaps into place, and then you can slide on your bristles. Actually, have I got this around the right way? Yes, I have. And then the other part of the attachment clips into the side here. Uh, it goes that way, uh, no, it goes that way. And what needs to happen is you can see here that there are these teeth, and those teeth there need to line up because this is a this guard here can flop up up and down. So now that I've got those teeth lined up, we can now have if we flip the tool around to the back, you can see here that these bristles and this guy basically prevents any stuff getting flipped up at you at the back. And then you can then slide that up and down and adjust it as required. Now on the middle part of the tool here is a handle. We've got that around the right way, probably goes. And so you just want, it, there's teeth inside this handle and you want to line those teeth up as well so that you can then adjust this up and down to suit your needs and it sort of creates a little bit of ergonomics for you. Okay, so a relatively simple tool in terms of the operation. So we'll team this up here with a five amp hour battery. Once we click that into the top of the tool, this is estimated to give us about 50 minutes of run time at no load. So by no load, what I mean is the tool free spinning in this fashion. Now you wouldn't be using it like that. You would be using this tool under load. So that battery life is going to be reduced from that. So I would be wanting to use this with one of the uh, the more beefy batteries, the five amp hour here. Be really tough to know what the actual runtime would be if you're using this on a deck, but I'd pr probably say you want to cut that in half. So make sure you've got heaps of batteries charged up if you've got a big project to tackle. Now, in order to use the tool, it's really simple. You don't have multiple settings here. You have a safety lock at the top and then simple trigger. It's not variable speed, it just starts up, and when you let off there, it comes off. You cannot engage the trigger without first pressing the lock at the top. Where you do have some adjustability here is the handle, so obviously if you loosen the piece here, very similar fashion to something like an edger or a weed eater, you can then pull this back and forward to get it comfy. And you will wanna make sure that you get this to a comfortable position because this tool, without the battery, but with the roller attachment all set up. So basically the tool, exactly like so, weighs 3.5 kilograms, and then you're adding in the additional weight from the battery. So if it wasn't edger, you know, it's something you probably need to be a little bit concerned about the weight, but the way that you're gonna use this tool is on the ground, so you're not actually weight bearing unless you're lifting it up off whatever you're working on. Now, as we work a little bit further down the tool, we do have a lever here where we can adjust the height of the tool. So again, you can get it to a really comfortable level depending on your height. And then when we approach the bottom of the tool, we've actually got the brush head itself. Now this spins in a forward motion, which means it's going to kick debris back at you. So you've got a cover on the front of the tool there, 
And then when we flip it over, we also have basically a little rubber brush here at the back to protect things from getting kicked back into your legs. And what you can do is you can adjust that. So depending on what you're working on, if you want a little bit more protection against debris getting kicked at you, you can place that down. If you're not too concerned about that, you can put it all the way up there. And then when the tool is in motion, you've got that spinning, like so. Okay, so we're gonna start with a bit of a strange application for this tool, but I think it's gonna work really well here. So what happens is when we have a lot of rain, all the worms on the grass come out and they come onto the patio here. Then when it dries out, the worms dry and they stick onto the patio here. So I'm hoping that when I wet this, I can use this scrubber to agitate these worms off and then hopefully I can then wash them away. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, so now we can rinse away all those worms. So typically I would use a scrubbing brush with a real hard bristle on here and I'd have to sc scrub for you know a decent period of time. But what this tool does is it takes away that scrubbing element. You still have to apply some pressure to it, but it just prevents you from having to scrub backwards and forwards. So I'm pretty happy with that outcome. What do you reckon, worms gone? Yeah, I think that um, other than the pressure you've had to apply, that's a whole lot less uh, labor intensive than what you previously had to do. And what I've actually just noticed, another application that we could give this a go at, is the ground over here, you've got a bit of, uh, bit of green moss and, and that ground growing on the, uh, on the surface of the concrete. Bit of bird poo. Typically that, you'd either need to use something like wet and forget, spray and walk away, or you'd need to get the pressure washer out in order to clean it. So it might be interesting just to see with a bit of water and some agitation whether we can pull that up as well. So we're just using water on here. We'll wet this concrete. It might be tough to tell with the wet concrete there, but I think that's probably done a pretty reasonable job at pulling out. Well, you can see all that, dirt, that, all that dirty water. You can, it's carried away in what you've, uh, you've just rinsed off there, isn't it? So definitely not the same result you're gonna get for something like a pressure washer, but I think it's a good, um, a good quick tool to bring out because for us to bring this out, it doesn't involve us attaching a hose, we don't have to plug in the power, we're simply putting our battery in there, spritzing a bit of water on the surface and then scrubbing away at it. So another use case for a product like this and where I'm most excited to try this out is in the application on a deck. So traditionally what I would have done for a deck and this is the deck on my daughter's playhouse here, hence why it's so many, um, is I would use a product like Wet and Forget Hit the Deck and then I would use, it's a really hard bristle brush and you just need to put elbow grease in in order to remove any embedded dirt within the grooves of the wood um, and to leave it nice and fresh. So with a product like this, that should alleviate the need to actually manually agitate. We will need to use a bit of pressure, um, but what we'll do, we'll spray this deck down with some wet and forget product to give us some cleaning, uh, some cleaning power, and then we'll give this a go and, and we'll see how this works and just how quickly we can get through a small area like this. And for something like this, we wanna make sure that we do have this guard down at the back so we don't kick too much of this into ourselves.
I can tell you straight away the ease of use of that. You do have to put a bit of pressure into it, but in order to get into these grooves, that is pretty hard when you're using a brush and you're having to manually go back and forth. We've probably covered a square meter area here in the space of what, maybe 20, 30 seconds. And you can see the runoff of the color of the, uh, of the water there. I know we've got some dirt in there, but that's the dirt that we're living, lifting from these boards. So carry on. <laughs> why you're going to want to use that guard on the back of the tool there if you have a look at my shoe oh damn so if you have a look at my shoe so if i didn't have that guard i'd probably be up to here on my jeans with uh with dirt and debris these are going to need a wash so you want to make sure you have that guard pulled all the way down i think it's pretty clear just watching that tool in use and looking at the final result here of the deck it's actually managed to strip back some of the stain on there which is really good to know that this is powerful enough to try and lift some of not only the heavy dirt in here some of the stains so really good way to strip back the deck where i did struggle a little bit with this tool and it's not necessarily so much a downside of the tool it's just kind of the area we're working in here when you did get to a tighter area here it's too tall to fit under here and it does get a little bit tight working up against some of the boards up against some of the framing on here as well so you will still need to do some hand scrubbing depending on the uh, i guess the mechanics of your deck or, or the area you're working but really happy with the result that did there that saved a lot of manual labor and scrubbing back and forward on there. And I think a couple more passes on that, especially with a heavier chemical, should be able to strip all of the stain off a deck like this. So thumbs up in this application. Okay, so we've used this surface cleaner for the very first time in a couple of applications that we think that we would use this tool the most. And definitely for Omni garages, where we would use this is definitely cleaning decks. So we get, you know, during those winter periods, we get a lot of moss and mildew algae and, and, and build algae build up on the deck. And so we'd use a product like uh, Wet and Forget Hit the Deck. We'd let that soak in and then we would come along with a manual brush and we would scrub that deck for hours. So I'm really happy that Ray, we've brought this tool out because I think this could replace that that manual labor of scrubbing. Don't get me wrong though, you are gonna have to apply some manual pressure on this tool. Yeah, you are. But you're not gonna have to scrub like you usually would. Of the tool and three and a half kilos, you wanna put a heavy battery on this because you do want to make it a bit easier to push down on this. Well, the heavier tool would a help you apply more pressure, right? Correct, So because I don't you're, think, not, yeah. you're not scrubbing back and forward, you're just wanting to put as much downward pressure to get those bristles right into the, uh, the surface that you're And cleaning. I think that's key. Although this is a little bit of an ergonomic downside to the tool, I think you want the shaft as short as possible. So so you are going to bend over the tool a little bit more but I think that helps you apply that pressure. Yeah so you probably want to use it in that fashion there and then really you can kind of put that weight down on the tool. You're not putting elbow grease into it, you're just downward pressure on this to make sure that you get the best cleaning results out of this here. What we did find though is the, uh, the, the guard here can tend to slip up. If you're putting too much pressure on it, this will want to it it sort of pushes up. back and that's when you get that flick up of all that dirt coming back onto you. Correct. So just be mindful that when you are scrubbing in areas that are a little bit dirty that that might apply. Now, the interesting note, back on the, uh, the battery run time, it's rated at 50 minutes when it's spinning freely like this. We had a 5 amp hour battery on here. This is not a scientific test by any means because I don't know how long we actually use the tool for but we have 3 out of the 4 bars on the battery there so call it 75%. I think that, um, that's pretty realistic. So if you were working some big areas, I think you would want yeah, a couple absolutely. of these get a couple of Get a couple of batteries there and um, therefore you're not halfway through a job and go, oh, I have to stop now because I've run out of batteries. So get yourself loaded up with batteries. But overall, all in all, I think this is a tool that Omni Garage would use. It definitely replaces the manual scrubbing that we would be doing in the deck areas. And you saw on the patio, I got rid of the bird poo and the worms and stuff. So this is something that I'm gonna grab and I'm gonna use probably quite often, definitely when I'm trying to spruce up the property coming into the summer months. This is a great tool for us to have one of and just share it between us, right? I can see that this being one of those tools, kind of like the post hole borer, exactly. where it's really specific use cases. It's not something you're using on a weekly basis. You might pull this out three, four, 
five times a year. Yep. And um, and I think that we're probably going to be fighting over this. Come, yeah, share uh, it between a couple winter. of ma mates or, you know, share it within the family. But yeah, I don't think everyone needs to own one of these. I think you could own it as a group and, and share yep. it out. So a big it's shout out again to Ryobi for sending us this tool to check out. I think we've definitely found our particular use case for it. And just like all of the other Ryobi tools we've featured on the channel, we try and show them in real life use case scenarios where we use it to show you guys potentially how you could fit this into your daily lives as well. And so just the other day we released another video on the handheld power scrubber and so this is kind of like the younger sibling to this tool so if you're interested in you're looking at the comparisons between which one you want to buy go and check that video out. But that's basically it from OmniGarage. Subscribe to the channel so you get notified when we're releasing more content and uh, drop us a comment to uh, let us know how you guys are using these tools. But that's it. Thanks for watching. Catch you on See the next, next one. one.